I wandered through the woods of Foy, alone, scared and confused. A place I loved so much had become a barren wasteland. My mind wandered and started to think about Update 9. This is when a voice spoke to me. Will you look into the mirror? What will I see? I replied. Even the wisest cannot tell. She showed me visions of garrisons built in red territory. Fences that I can shoot through. And barbed wire that I could not climb over. That was not good. That, that, that was the opposite of good. Bad. Hello, welcome back to Wild Bill Jammin. I hope you're well. This week we're going to be talking about what I would like from the next update. Because I took a week off last week, I was making a video about realism versus immersion and I completely lost my mind. Honestly, thinking about realism in terms of computer games is the quickest way to lose brain cells. So let's suspend our disbelief for a few moments and just talk about game mechanics and balance. And let's also just breeze over the garrison stuff that I always talk about. And just bear in mind that they create all the problems that I'm going to be talking about, pretty much, apart from the bugs. So Update 9 is meant to be all about tanks and overhauling all the tank stuff. But Update 8 gave us the overhaul of the resource system and the engineer stuff, along with getting rid of the support redeployment loop. But with that came these shiny new fucking trucks which are only really good for building garrisons all over the map because support players aren't really a thing anymore because everyone wants to play with better guns and bazookas and stuff and now everyone's got better guns and better classes and you just rely on the truckers to do their job oh before update 8 the germans were kind of like this which required skill but now everyone's got automatic weapons and you just spray until you hear the dink of a helmet. So what I want from update 9 is for the developers to think about cause and effect. This is your thing, isn't it? Everything has to be an absolute. Everything has to be black and white. You know, I love you, fuck off. There are lots of shades of grey, you know? Oh, I know that. I'm looking at 15 of them right now. So you might have noticed over the last few videos that I haven't really been playing infantry too much and I've just been playing tanks. And this is the one game I think I've played in about a month in infantry. And it kind of encapsulates everything wrong with the game at the minute. And rather than me venting my anger, I'll let this guy do it. I can't even see them. Ah! Fuck this. Oh, close, close. Yeah. Ping them where they are, I can't see anything. Just uh, keep firing. Just suppress them. Roger that. This game was fucking horrible. Oh, one more around the corner. Right. No, Westy, keep going. Nice, buddy. Fucking killing it, Crystal. That was one of my ping. Fucking all right then, let's have another go. Nice work, everyone. We are progressing. Good job. Your OP's like lit up, guys. You're yeah, yeah. really kind. Got him. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's just as funny. Garrison King Mark Acker. Fuck me, where is it? Oh my god, how the fuck did he know I was in there? That is fucking mental. Progress lost, everyone. Because this game sucks. Just to recap on that, we moved across two squares, pushing enemies back, taking OPs and garrisons, only to lose our OP and have to start all over again at the garrison, which got overrun. And I think the biggest complaint that this guy had was that he couldn't fucking see anyone. And this is what I was talking about last week with all the fucking foliage and the grass. And on Saturday, we had a competitive match against a new clan to hell at loose called Spit. 
and they are four times world champions of squad. And they were giving it the big end before our game, saying how few hours they've got in Hell Let Loose and how good they are. And honestly, this made me really angry and I was really up for this game as displayed by this moment here. Oh, the guy ran front? Yes. Run over this. Yes, yeah. Oh, I hope that was that fucking guy. And because they're such noobs, they don't understand how foliage works in Hell Let Loose. And they claimed that we were cheating because we were shooting them through hedges. And they were saying that we turned the hedges off, which is not possible. So then they provided us with a way of doing it and said that we were using it, even though we'd never seen it before. And then we tested it and we tested it on the map that we played. And it's the only map that it doesn't work on. And that's San Marie de Mont, because it hasn't been updated with all this crappy grass. So the real reason why Spit lost the other night is because they don't understand that you have to keep moving in Hell at Loose. You might feel like you're hidden away in some bush, but it's not long till you kill someone, then you get spotted, then you get nuked. So from the bottom of my heart to Spit, fuck off. You sniveling ass, stop your nonsense. So when the devs started talking about grass in some update, I honestly couldn't give a shit. I just thought, oh, okay, that's some optimization thing. They'll just change it or whatever. And then when we actually got it, it turned every map into a jungle where you couldn't see anyone. And it took me ages to realize that you can actually lower the settings. And once I did that, I started getting way more kills. I stopped getting killed from places that I couldn't even see people. It shouldn't exist in the game. That's so mad that that's there. And there's so many of these things that just keep getting added to the game without tweaking. They just get added and added and added. And the whole early access thing is just the scapegoat for all these mistakes. And this video was meant to be about solutions for these problems. They're, they're all intertwined with each other. One thing massively affects another. It's why I keep banging on about this garrison meta because it changed the whole dynamic of the gameplay. And then you add in trucks and garrisons aren't built as much anymore because everyone has to pile into the first cap otherwise you lose it and you lose all your map control. And then backup garrisons aren't built because you don't run there anymore. You wait till someone builds a garrison and then you spawn on it. Or you're the guy driving the truck. And then they gave Germans loads of automatic weapons because they thought the Allies were too overpowered. That's because all the action became more compact because you were forcing players into a certain part of the map. So to do a solution video, it'd take hours and hours and it'd be incredibly boring. So if you had a burst pipe and you call the plumber and the plumber comes around, he's not gonna offer you a half track which you can spawn on. He's just gonna fix the pipe. I think I can say with absolute certainty, a half track that you can spawn on has never been the answer to any question, ever. It's never solved anything. And even in a computer game, where that would seem like an option, it's still not the solution to all the other problems that you've got in the game. If you want to test it, that's fine, but you need to make sure the game is in the way that you want it to be first. And that's the major problem with Hell at Loose, is that they just keep adding things on top of things and it's hard to unpick everything. So my motto would be, be careful, because there's always someone ready to step into your shoes and do your job better than you do it. It's hard to tell whether airheads should still be in the game or not, because they're gonna change everything again. And every little tweak they do changes the whole balance of the game. It's just like basic science, isn't it? You, if you're testing something, you need a good control environment to see what effects that one thing has on the rest. You can't change five things at a time and expect to get good results. So for update nine, I kind of don't want update nine. What I really want is just hot fixes every couple of weeks, change one little thing, make all the grass all the same for everyone, change the garrisons a couple of weeks later, tweak the HE range on tanks a couple of weeks after that, see how players interact with everything, 
I really like Rust, the game, and they do a really brilliant way of developing it. They're constantly adding new things to the game, but they'll add something like a helicopter and they'll just be everywhere and you can just grab them and do whatever. They see how players interact with them and then they put them behind an in-game paywall as to how useful they are or make them rarer if it's a really strong gun. And the players don't mind because they know it's not going to be for a long time if something's getting cheesed or not. And the balance will be there because they've had a direct impact on the development without even really realising it. So my solution to these things is to get a better way of getting solutions because the current way is just not working. People could come to me and they'd go, excuse me David, but you've been in the business 12 years. Can you just spare us a moment to tell us how to you know, run a team, how to keep them task orientated as well as you know, happy? But they don't. And half tracks aren't content updates, they're game mechanics and they need to be treated as such. But I do have one solution that I'd like to offer and that's to bring back the fog in Foy. It's so horrible for infantry now. Anyway, my new video over. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week for something a bit more fun, hopefully. I'll see you next week. Bye. Probably wondering why I am so generous with encouragement. You know, I love you, fuck off.